Welcome to this video on using Moodle's multimedia filter. The benefit of the filter is, is that it will automatically convert any URL from a YouTube or Vimeo or video sharing site um, and it will display it for you without you having to go and get the embed course and the embed, embed code and all those sorts of things. What we have here is topic two of a fictional course that I've created. Uh, this one's on learning design. This topic will introduce you, blah, blah, blah. By the end of this topic, you should be able to. So the student knows straight away that by the end of this topic, they need to know how to do that. Uh, what is it? Implement the ADDI model of instructional design. Get, I've put in an activity. This is just a label. View the following video to learn about the instructional design process. Oh, and by the way, if I'm going too fast, don't forget there is a pause button um, so that you can work in tandem. Don't forget to pause it if you need to. So here's a label which is saying view the following video. What we would have traditionally done is we would have copied the embed code into this section of the screen. What that does is increases the amount of scrolling that your students have to do. Um, realistically, no one should have to scroll more than one and a half screens. All right. What I'm going to show you now is our preferred, here at Swizzies, our preferred method of embedding a video or adding a video using the filter. I'm going to add a resource page. So what this has done is it's created effectively what is a, another Moodle web page. I'm going to call it Video. Instructional Design Divide video. Alright, uh, for the purpose of speed I'm just going to copy and paste that to there. Alright, so this page content is what your students are going to see. The major benefit of using putting videos into Moodle in this method is you can put the video, you can put teacher's voice around that video. Alright, so I've got some text over here for speed. Okay, so I am now able to put three lines of text which tells them exactly what I want them to get from this video. Remember it's all about reducing the number of scrolls from the front page. What I'm going to do now is go to YouTube. Traditionally we would have clicked the share button which would have brought up this embed code. We don't want to do that anymore. All we need to do because of the filters in Moodle is copy the URL at the top. All right. That's all we need. Go back to the page in Moodle, and I'm going to paste it now. Paste. Okay, so what that's done is it's pasted the link. I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to go save and return to course. Now, with the editing off, just move that over, and I'll turn editing off. With the editing off, you can see now when I move the topic to the right spot. There it is, it goes up there. Now with the word editing off, you can see that this one page now is made, all of that information is contained in that Moodle page. When I click on it, because the filters are currently off, you can see it's still a link. So what do we do here? All right, now these filters are available to be changed on pretty much any activity or resource that you create. It's not a good idea to change them back at the course level. Okay, so I'm in the page. This is the page we just created. And you can see in the settings block I have a filter. I'm going to click on that. And now just be aware we are only changing the filters for the page called Instructional Design Video. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to save it. So you can see there's a heap of other pages, uh, other filters that you can play with if you want. There's more information in the Moodle to its Swizzy course on those. Right now we've just turned the multimedia players, multimedia plugins on. Save, uh, push continue, and what you'll see now, when I click back on the page that we created, that video is now embedded. Okay, so we've taken all of that space off the front page and put it in a Moodle page. You can also go through and put completion details about when this page is, when this page is displayed and all those sorts of things if you want. Um, but yeah, I hope that this video has shown you the power of, one, filters, 
and a little bit of instructional design about using a page to embed a video. Um, yeah, have fun with that.